In this lesson, you will learn all about the mushroom life cycle. First off, do you know the life cycle of an apple tree? A seed transformed into a sprout. The sprout eventually transforms into a tree, and the tree eventually creates an apple, carrying on more seeds. The mushroom life cycle works quite similar. A seed is actually a spore, a sprout is a hypha, mycelium is the tree, and mushrooms are the apple. So a spore germinates into hypha, the hyphae wait together to form mycelium, and the mycelium eventually forms a mushroom. There are some key differences though. Mushrooms are not plants. They form their own queendom in the tree of life and are actually closer to animals than they are to plants. Although until the 1970s they were put in the same corner as plants, we have learned much since then. Mushrooms, just like us, breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. They also cannot photosynthesize and have to make do with the nutrients available in their environment. Like we have mentioned before, the queendom of fungi is very diverse and not all fungi produces mushrooms. Species in the sub-queendom of Dicaria are capable of producing mushrooms. The two divisions in this sub-queendom are called Basidiomycota and Ascomycota. Basidio means pin and asco means a wine sack. Some examples of Basidiomycota are oyster mushrooms, Pleurota species, sacred mushrooms, Psilocybe species, and the fly agaric, that's the Amanita muscaria, and so many more. Some examples of species within the division of Ascomycota are truffles, cordyceps, and morels. So, let's go on a journey of the mushroom life cycle. Close your eyes for a second. Imagine being a Psilocybe cubensis mushroom. You want to reproduce, so you need to make spores. The creating of spores is called meiosis. Your basidia create a structure to release your spore. And now you're a spore. A gush of wind comes in and you're released from your parent. You are a happy spore flying in the wind with all of your spore brothers and sisters. You land, luckily enough, on a perfect substrate. The conditions are just right. You and your friends happily germinate into hyphae. Hyphae at this stage are haploid. They have only one nucleus in their cell. Hyphae love working together and form mycelium. Mycelium is often formed by hyphae weaving together without fusing. Now, not all hyphae are born the same. Just like us humans have female and male specimens of our species, mushroom hyphae have sexes. Although not just two. In Basidiomycota, we often talk about mating type A and B. A and B are compatible, but there are not just one A and one B. Some mushrooms have oh, more than 339 A mating times and more than 64 B mating types, all happily able to fornicate with one another. So, what actually happens when a type A meets a type B? Have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? Fusion! When a type A and a type B meet, they fuse together and transform a haploid cell with one nucleus to a diploid cell, which is multinucleate, and that contains the superpowers of both A and B. This process is called plasmogamy. So now you are a mycelium with haploid cells and diploid cells, all happily working together. Yet you want more out of life. You want to make sure the next generation can form life. So all of you decide to start a massive building project, a mushroom. Everyone works together to create this amazing structure. Even the hyphae that have not gone through plasmogamy help out to secure the success of the next generation. And then it all starts again. That's it for this lesson. Leave your comments and questions in the discussion box up here, and I'll see you in a future lesson.